Woo! What's going on, YouTube? It's Dottie B all day. If you could hear the sizzling behind me, it's because I'm getting started with something here. I'm going to make the never famous, never because I just thought it in my head, um, uh, stir fry tortellini. That's what I'm doing today. So, right now, I just put some butter in a pan to get my vegetables started. I'm going to show you guys how easy this is. Uh, over here, I got some water boiling. I got some Angie's meat tortellini, the best. And I've got some stir fry vegetables. It looks like a little bit of zucchini, some peppers, some onions. Mwah. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these uh, take these vegetables. I'm going to lower you guys a little bit. I'm just going to throw them right in the uh, right in the butter that's heating up over there. I got to use the wrong the, the right one over here. So, I'm going to put them right inside all this butter and let them just start to cook and soften and and then brown a little bit because that's how you want them. I want them to be nice and stir fried up. Now, most people when they when they do stir fry, you're going to see either a soy base sauce or a teriyaki base sauce for stir fry. That's usually what people use. It's kind of kind of common, right? So all I'm doing right now is I'm just mixing up the vegetables and getting a little butter on them, giving them a little swirly round and roundabout. This is going to be simple. This is going to be really, really simple, guys. Like, anybody could do it simple. Is it going to be good? Who knows? I never did it. I just thought it in my head. So rather than doing the, the traditional stuff, the Asian style, I'm using some of this. It's uh, Peter Luger Steakhouse Old Fashioned Sauce. You get this in, like, your, in your steak section in grocery stores. If you see this, get it. It's amazing on steaks because it's so, it's, like, sweet. But <laughs> one of those deals, it's, it's that good. It's good. So, let's see if I can get this all situated right. So, this is going to be my stir-fry flavor. Before I get the flavor in it, I just need to get everything cooked. And that's all I'm doing. I'm not adding the flavor until the end. So, basically, it's just cook up your vegetables and cook them to your liking, how soft you want it. Maybe you like a, a, a harder vegetable, a stiffer vegetable. I don't, you know what I mean? It, it, they're they're easier to move off that bed, you know those vegetables. <laughs> um, but uh, I don't I don't want them too. But you don't want them too soft either. You want them, you don't want them mushy. You want a nice crisp vegetable. So that's what I'm going for. I'm just stirring that up, and it's looking fine. It's cooking in the butter, and I will show you what that looks like. Bada boom, bada bang. Look how easy it is. I just put butter in a pan with some heat, and da da. Now I'm just boiling water. That's it. Water boiling, vegetable sizzling. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up this. And of course, my D-bad little big man. This thing is with me every freaking day now. I love this knife. I have been using the absolute snot out of it. So it's nice and oiled. So what I do is when I'm working around food is I just give it a quick wipe down. And as long as I dry it after I use it, um, I don't have to worry about I don't have to worry about getting you know caca on the blade. Nothing nothing bad is gonna happen. Um, it's just all good in the hood. Super dry after it's been coated in, in oil too. It's been sitting there in the sheath like that. It's not going to uh, oxidize or rust, even though it's a beautiful, wonderful high carbon steel. All right, so let's do that. Let's do that. Take this, put it back where it belongs, on my side. Normally, I don't even put the um, the sheath on my side. Normally, what I do is I just take the entire sheath right in my pocket. And I'm going to show you what I did. I don't know if I showed you already. I just took some leather, and uh, I made I just tied leather through a couple of the holes, and I made belt straps so I can wear it on my left side. And if you want to wear it on your right side with leather rather than the, um, the pancake style, you know, just hooks on there all by itself. Um, if you don't trust that and you're going to be moving around all day, what you can do is just tie a couple pieces of, of rawhide, and that's literally, uh, I'll do this again, that's literally what that is, just a couple pieces of rawhide, and make yourself some belt loops, bada boom, bada bing. Um, or, when you order, you can, if you if you don't want a Kydex sheath, which I, I wanted because I was I knew I was going to be putting it in my pocket a lot, you can say, hey, Cooker House, can you make me a leather sheath for this? And Cooker House will make you a leather sheath. They're just awesome. Awesome. These guys, this is why I partner with them, because they're just phenomenal at what they do. 
They look out for us. They care about what we want. Love that about the cookery house. So now what I'm going to do, these vegetables are looking pretty good, and obviously this is nowhere near done. So what I'm going to do is I'm just reducing heat down to a simmer. And uh, I don't know why that's clicking, but that's all I'm doing is reducing the heat. And there we go. So that's it. Let me wait for this to, uh, to boil up and we'll get going. Okay, okay, okay. So I just gave my tortellini a little test drive. Good, good. So all you gotta do is boil them up. No, uh, no broth or nothing like that because you're using it for stir fry. Just strain all the water out. Pretty simple. If you can't do that, my friends, you need a rubber helmet. Ooh, look at all the steam. So, getting all the water out of there. And then I'm just gonna take my tortellini I'm going to add it straight to my vegetables. Wow, that was difficult, D-Bad. I know. Try and stay with me. It gets harder after that. All right, so now all I'm doing is taking my stir-fry mix, and I'm going to pour some in. That's it. Pour it in. I'm going to stir it, and I'm going to fry. And that's, that's all that is. It's called pan frying. And you can use oil to pan fry. You can use different things to pan fry. But... For something like this, something this simple and and wonderful, all I needed to do was butter to fry the uh, to fry up the the vegetables, and now a little flavor, and that's all it takes. And now I don't even have to raise the heat. The pan is nice and hot already, so it's going to automatically heat up all that wonderful sauce. And I just needed to spread it around, and I will show you what we are looking at, my friends my amigos, and we're going to talk about a giveaway that I just did, and you guys didn't even know about it, really. Only some did. Hoo-wee! Look at that. Tortellini stir-fry. A new invention right here. So, it's only good if it tastes good. It only works, right? So let's try it. Let's try. <laughs> oh, mmm. Holy crap, that's fantastic. All right, so the reason it's so good is because it's just vegetables. It's just tortellini. And then you use whatever sauce you want. And if you already like the sauce that you're using, it's already a win. Because this stuff tastes amazing. And that's where I'm getting a huge amount of flavor is coming from this right here. So if you're using something that you know you already love, my friends, my brothers, my family... Let me, let me tell you, um, just by doing that, you already know it's going to taste good. The, the natural flavor of the vegetables and the tortellini is just a plus. And having that little bit of butter flavor in the end on, on top of that, it just makes it so much softer and smoother. Now, let's get on to this giveaway. I just did a video recently, uh, some time in the studio. I was out at the music studio with uh, a bunch of rock stars. And um, they were doing a... Uh, they're doing a Randy Rhodes Aussie cover, and it's going to be um, Blizzard of Randy. So I didn't tell anybody that there was going to be a giveaway in this. I just waited till the end to see if anybody was going to play through all the way through. Because if you went to the end of my video, you should have gone to the end. You would have seen that it was a very easy giveaway. It's something small, but it's something cool. So rock guitarist um, Scott LaFlam, who was the Bang Tango front man, you know, the lead guitarist, and Randy Rhodes experience and he has played with so many of like the big name rockers out there like huge this guy is everywhere you can look up his bio Scott Laflamme um it's big so this pick he had when he was with Bang Tango this is one of his Bang Tango picks it's kind of uh, a little erased because it's a used pick you can see this and right there was the signature you know it's all abused and whatnot and the reason that this pick is so used is because in the video where you see Scott jamming, blah, 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 um, this is the pick he was using. And I said, whoever wants the pick, all you do is say so, and I will send it to you. So Miss Becky Styles hung around to the end. She saw the pick. She said, hell yeah, I want that pick. Well, guess what? Becky Styles, you get the pick. So it's that simple. So you get the pick from uh, rock star uh, Scott LaFlamme. The dude is sick. You can watch the video and see his solos. They are amazing. Becky Styles, I will. Uh, I had your information. I have to get it again, I think. So I will be doing that. We'll reach out to each other and uh, make it happen. I will mail this out to you. 
right now, I'm gonna go eat. I'm gonna get my grub on. Don't forget, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, makes you, uh, makes you a happy, happy person. So I'm gonna go be happy. I am Donnie Biotti. Until next video.